The Active Directory Synchronization, AD Sync, utility helps a user synchronize the user data between an LDAP server and CA Cloud Service Management, CACSM. As an administrator, you can use the AD Sync utility to synchronize organizations and users between your LDAP server and CACSM. You can configure the AD Sync utility by performing the following steps. Step 1. Acquire and unzip the AD Sync utility. Step 2. Install the certificate. Step 3. Configure the AD Sync utility. Step 4. Run the AD Sync utility. Step 5. Validate the synchronization of user accounts. Prior to the installation of the AD Sync utility, make sure that the latest version of Java is installed on the system where you have installed the AD Sync utility. The server where you are installing AD Sync should be able to connect to your Active Directory server. Create the organization structures in CACSM. The AD Sync utility will not bring in groups from the Active Directory to CSM. Let's see a quick demonstration on how to install and configure the AD Sync utility. Log into the server where you want to install AD Sync utility and sign into CACSM. Click the Manage tab and click Tools. In the Tools page, search to find Downloads. Next, select Downloads. Next, select Active Directory Synchronization. Save the Active Directory Synchronization file on your local machine. The AD Sync utility is delivered as a zip file. This file contains the utility and supporting files. Ensure that the server where you are downloading and installing the AD Sync utility can connect to your LDAP server and CACSM. This completes step 1. Let's proceed to step 2, that is how to download and install the security certificate from the browser. Navigate to the Add User Sync folder and double click the security certificate file. The name of your certificate will be based on where you have downloaded it from. In this example, we access the North America Trial System or SM1T. Your certificate can be named as SM1, SM2, or SM3. Open the command prompt and run this command to install the certificate. This allows the user to access CACSM from the server. This completes step 2. Now that you have unzipped the AD Sync utility and installed the security certificate on your local machine, you are now ready to configure the AD Sync utility. The AD Sync utility relies on a set of configuration files namely, attribute map, search base, and sync. These files are delivered with the AD Sync utility and are located in the AD Sync utility folder. Let's review each of them in detail. Let's start with the attribute map list configuration file. Double click the file to open it. The attribute map list configuration file contains a list of all the user attributes to be collected for each user account. The values are mapped using the application field that is AD field name. Here, the application field is the cloud service management attribute and AD is the active directory attribute. You can map an AD value with the respective cloud service management value. For example, the first name is the application field, and the given name is the AD field name. Ensure that you have all these attributes namely, first name, last name, and email while creating a new user. Here are a few rules that you need to follow while passing a combination of AD attribute and static values for a CACSM attribute. Let's now understand the search base list file. Double click the file to open it. The search base list file contains a list of all the organization units, OUs. The list is used to extract the user data that is sent to CACSM. Additionally, to add users from default.com, you can add this information to the existing file. Let's proceed to sync properties file. Double click the file to open it. The sync properties file delivers the main configuration center for the data synchronization. Let's understand 
each of these parameters that are available for the configuration. The LDAP bond credential parameter is the service account that you have created in Active Directory. Here, the LDAP bond user parameter specifies the distinguished name of the service account that the utility uses for connecting to the Active Directory server. The LDAP bond user password is the parameter that specifies the password for the service account that is specified in LDAP bind user attribute. The LDAP bind is password encrypted parameter specifies whether the LDAP password is encrypted or not. Run this command to enable the encryption for the LDAP password. The LDAP search filter parameter specifies the LDAP filter for retrieving user entries from the directory server. Here, the application cycles through each OU, and looks for the users in accordance with the search criteria. The auth token and slice token parameters are auto-populated when you download the AdSync utility. The send data parameter specifies the flag to stream user data over to CACSM. This value is typically set to yes. However, you can set it to no to verify local data files for errors and warnings. This completes the configuration of the AD Sync utility. Let's proceed to step 4, which is to run the AD Sync utility. Use this command to run the AD Sync utility. Next, open the sync data log file to view the output. The exceptions that are encountered during the synchronization are written to the sync data log file. You can review these logs to verify if the AD Sync is working as expected. This completes step 4. Now, let's see how to validate the synchronization of the user account. Navigate to the Active Directory. To create a new user account, right-click on the Users folder. Select New from the menu, and then select the user. Specify the user details such as first name, last name, full name, and user logon name. Click Next to continue. Provide the password and click Next to continue. Click Finish to create the new user account. You can observe the new user account, that is demo user and user, has been created successfully in the Active Directory. Run this command to execute the synchronization of the new user account. During synchronization, the application writes the matching entries to a CSV file in AD Sync Utility after cycling through all the OUs. It also generates an XML document with the data and then streams it to CACSM. Log into the CACSM application. Navigate to Manage, Tools and then Users. Next, search for the new user that you have created. You can now observe that the demo user end user is created successfully. To learn more about the AD Sync utility, please visit docops.ca.com. You have now learned how to install and configure the AD Sync utility.